Hello, I'm Anika from Made to Sew, and welcome to this short video all about NAP, N-A-P. Let's start by talking about what NAP is. So NAP is best described as a textile or a fabric that has a sort of grain to it. And what I mean by that is think about velvet, suede, or fur, or faux fur. If you run your hand in one direction, they're nice and smooth to the touch. If you turn your hand around and run it in the opposite direction, you'll find that it's quite rough. It's almost as if you're going against the grain. So those are fabrics that have nap. And they're the predominant fabrics, your velvet, your suede, your fur. However, nap can be found on a variety of other fabrics too. I'll often make jackets or coats from wool that has a bit of nap on it. So, by working with a fabric that has nap, what do you need to consider? You're going to need to consider how you cut out your pattern from your fabric. Take a look at the wrong side or the back of your pattern envelope. Generally, you will find how much fabric you need here. And if you're working with a fabric that has nap, you're going to need more fabric. The same in the instruction booklet. The layout of the fabric is going to be different if you are working with a fabric that has nap compared to a fabric that doesn't. Of course, not all patterns require a different layout, but it is always worthwhile checking. So what happens if you cut your pattern out, not abiding by a nap layout? Let's say we're working with a faux fur jacket. We plonk our pattern pieces on, any old how, and we cut it out. We have the left of our jacket with a nice smooth finish. The fur is going down the body. The other side of the jacket, as my hand goes down it, it's a little bit rough. It goes from the rough side of the fur. Of course, they won't look like they match side by side. So unless this is a design decision, unless you want this in your design, you're going to want to complete the following cutting layout. You want to decide on the top of your fabric. In here, I have a fabric that is a directional print. So although this particular fabric doesn't actually have a nap, it still requires a nap layout. Once you've decided on the top of the fabric, you're going to place all of the pattern pieces on the fabric, aligning the top of the pattern piece with the top of the fabric. This means that when you cut everything out, you won't have one pattern piece upside down. So deciding on the top of the fabric is easy for something like a directional print. But what about with something like velvet? When you're working with velvet, you can actually decide whether you want the top of that fabric or for the fabric to be going down the body in the smooth direction or with the rough direction. So what are the benefits? In most everyday shops, the fabric of velvet will be going smooth down the body. That is because it is longer wearing in that direction. However, a lot of couture designers will use it in the other way, so the velvet will be rough going down the body. This can give a more luxurious, alluring effect to the velvet. It will look darker and deeper with more texture. And of course, that is attractive. But you can find that it will wear a little bit quicker, so that's something to consider. You're the designer here, so you can choose where you want the top of your velvet or the fabric that you're working with to be. And once you're happy with that position, you'll just place all of your pattern pieces on with the top of the pattern piece aligning with the top of your fabric. Although it's most noticeable on fabrics such as a directional print or those with nap, a nap layout can be used on other fabrics too. I cut out most of my garments using a nap layout. And that's simply because I have been burned in the past by not doing so. For example, I may, was making a crepe dress a number of years ago now in a black crepe. I flipped one of the pattern pieces over to fit them on the fabric that I had. When I made the dress, one half looked black, the other half looked grey. If you do not have enough fabric for a nap layout, I would recommend that you pin the fabric on your mannequin, going in the two opposite directions. Look in daylight and check that you can get away with doing that. Hopefully you now understand what a nap is and the importance of a nap layout. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe.